In this video, we will attempt to solve work problems for two unknown times. As we do this to keep organized, you want to be sure to clearly identify who is the variable. Let's take a look at some examples where we can see this work out. In this problem, we see we've got Tony, who does a job in 16 hours less than Marissa. We don't know anything about Marissa, so let's call her X. Tony will be 16 hours less, or X minus 16. We're also told, as a team, they can do the job in 15 hours. We can then set up an equation using the reciprocal of the individual times to equal the reciprocal of the team time. Tony's reciprocal is 1 over X minus 16. Plus, Marissa's reciprocal is 1 over X equals the team 1 over 15. We can start solving by identifying the least common denominator, remembering the X minus 16 is a binomial, so we have 15X and X minus 16. Multiplying each term by the 15X times X minus 16, we can then go back and see what divides out. The X minus 16's are gone, leaving 15X plus the X's divide out, 15 times X minus 16 equals the 15's divide out, X times X minus 16. We can continue solving by distributing through the parentheses to get 15X plus 15X minus 240 equals X squared minus 16X. Combining like terms to clean it up, giving us 30x minus 240 equals x squared minus 16x. We can now solve this equation by either completing the square, using the quadratic formula, or factoring. While factoring is preferable in most cases because it's quicker, the fact that the 240 is a larger number might make this difficult to factor. So let's solve this equation by completing the square instead. Completing the square asks us to separate the variables and the numbers first. So let's subtract 30X from both sides, giving us negative 240 equals X squared minus 46X. To complete the square, we take half of our B term, the negative 46, and we square it. This would be negative 23 squared, and negative 23 squared is 529. We'll add 529 to both sides. When we do, we end up with 289 equals, it will factor to a perfect square on the right side, X minus 23. We can then start solving by taking the square root of both sides. The square root of 289 is 17, plus or minus, equals X minus 23. Adding 23 to both sides, we get X equals 23, plus or minus 17. We do have to consider both possibilities. If we do 23 plus 17, we end up with 40. If we do 23 minus 17, we end up with 6. We have two possibilities for X, or for Marissa. However, remember, Tony is going to do it in 16 hours less. If X was 6, like our second answer suggests, 6 minus 16 would be negative 10. It would not make sense that Tony would do the job in negative 10 hours. For this reason, the 6 does not seem to work in this problem. The only answer for X, or Marissa, is 40 hours. Tony, who does the job in 16 hours less, 40 minus 16, is going to be 24 hours. Part 2, we'll look at another.